uh, I got a call from a very drunk band. Oof. How dare you? Really? <laughs> Might as well start off with uh, Bam is running from the law, hiding in the woods, threatening to kill people. This all according to TMZ. It's pretty unreal. It's... Um, <laughs> How long do you guys hear it before it hits the news cycle? Or do you pretty much hear about it as it hits the news cycle? Okay. Here's the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> glad you asked. There's uh, I'm not necessarily glad you asked, but there's this um, subreddit strictly devoted to people talking about Bam Margera. Mm -hmm. And um, it is absolutely insane how fast yeah. news develops on the Let's Talk Bam subreddit. Mm. And um, that's what it's called. Let's talk Bam. It's called yep. Let's Talk Bam. I've never been to Reddit before, but I just I heard about this Bam page and and I went and checked it out. And uh, there are some resourceful people on there. Mm. And um, a lot of it's really funny. A lot of it's really sad. A lot of it's uh, breaking news. But um, I'm pretty sure that's where TMZ is getting all of the scoops is from. So Reddit this page. is the source. You really think TMZ is getting it from Reddit? I think people on Reddit are feeding it to TMZ. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you know, the stuff breaks on Reddit, it goes to TMZ. Yeah. But wow, I mean, we have had the gnarliest week ever. And I, I don't even know where to begin with. Uh, the prostitutes with the the keistering but um i do want to just wrap up the bam talk uh, a little bit um he found out about this this uh free bam movement which is just the the, the most lunatic stuff he's and, just finding out about it now it, it, there's speculation about whether he knew and forgot or whether he's lying, saying that he never knew. Who knows? But uh, there's a particular loony person in charge of this whole operation, and he found out about this loony lady and asked to do an interview with her. And uh, according to a lot of people, he's many days into a meth bender. Hmm like smoking crystal meth and, and drinking alcohol and going to do interviews with this loony lady. And it seems that just about as soon as he got out of uh, her presence, like he's assaulting people and threatening to kill people and hiding in the woods. I mean, you know, we're recording this on Wednesday, American time, and uh, it'll come out on Thursday. And without a doubt, in just the 24 hours between now and when this comes out, there will be lots of news. Like, that's what's so crazy about his subreddit is that... Yeah, it's pretty wild. I mean, it's crazy that people are like, yeah, come on my podcast and talk while he's on meth. Like, right. that's kind of gnarly. I'm really, really glad that, number one, we never had Bam on the podcast when he was intoxicated. He, he died maybe. Allegedly. Allegedly. But, like, I mean, but he was in a place where he shouldn't have been. Well, whenever we've spoken to Bam on the podcast, he's been presentable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's been lovely to deal with. Right. And, and when he was on tour with us, it, right. was, it wasn't bad. When he was on tour with us, it was awesome. Yeah. And, and uh, I went ahead and just scrapped all of that footage. Oh, did you scrap it? Yeah, it's never going to see the light of day. I mean, what are you going to do with it? Yeah, yeah. Even though it has its moments of, of heartwarming, and yeah, we probably could have made a lot of money if we sold those BAM skateboards. For sure. But it's all out the window. So take that, anybody who thinks... Uh, God, I'm so glad I'm I got one of those boards. <laughs> yeah. I made a lot of money, too. Did you, you haven't even talked about what you were going to do with that money, too. Or did you I mean, know? I did want to... Um, you know, help create a trust fund for Phoenix. But then, um, with, with Nikki filing for uh, legal separation, sole custody, like this and that, like now there's a whole new wrinkle in it where, you know, we're going to be talking about alimony. We're going to be talking yeah. about child support. And he's going to have to pay that anyway. So I did suggest, hey, why don't we sell these skateboards and have, um, 
you know, ha have uh, money go straight to cover Phoenix, child support, alimony, like whatever. Like that's coming out of your pocket either way. And when I made that suggestion, uh, I got a call from a very drunk band. Oof. How dare you? Really? I, I did my work. <laughs> I worked here. You know, that's, you know, and I was like, Bam, um, I've paid you for everything you did. I'm talking about anything in the future, you know, that has not happened yet. Yeah, like for me to do more in the future, yeah. I really just, you know, wouldn't. And how dare you? This was the first day that he uh, uh, posted the challenge Knoxville to the. the oh, to the boxing match. The no glove boxing. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I'm just. I, you know, I was, I was laying in the. Uh, in the shower, just laying on the ground, Good just man. soaking the, the 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 water over me and thinking about it, I was like, this craziness with Bam. I, what I'm so sad about, is that that if he was happy and healthy, like not only would he, would he be thriving, if he was sober and and productive, he'd be thriving. But the two of us would be so much stronger together. For sure. I mean, you look at like Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer mm -hmm. and how much stronger they are together mm -hmm. because of the two bears in one cave and stuff. And I just think about the opportunities that we could have had. Yeah. But there are no opportunities because all of this is going on. And, and as far as him being running from the cops and, and hiding in the woods, like whatever is going on, I hope to God that he gets arrested. I hope to God that the family... Because at that point, the taxpayers are just paying for him to go to jail and detox, right? I mean, that's kind of... Instead of him coming out of pocket 50 grand a month... Maybe the actual jail time will right. force him and give him enough time away from the drugs right. where it's like, okay, I'm sober well, for a little bit. That's the one thing that, that it's, we it's haven't a, tried yet. Yeah, exactly. And furthermore, it's the... Like, in, sitting in jail is the only place where everybody can have a reasonable expectation that he's safe. Yeah. That he's not harming yeah. himself or others. Mm -hmm. Is that a good segue for jail talk? <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to... I mean, <laughs> or, uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, I, my point with the taxpayers was I remember like 15 years ago or something when I was going through it with a family member, I was watching Dr. Drew and he was just like, you know, if you're suspecting somebody's drunk driving and it's been enough, like call the cops on them, get them arrested, have them... And I that just kind of always stuck out with me, but that's why For I brought sure. that up. And and if uh, with all of these people saying that uh, that he's smoking meth, I've always been pretty careful not to make that allegation myself, yeah. even though, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, like it would seem that it'd be pretty easy to set up. Uh, some situation where he could be arrested for that, and that'd probably be the best thing that ever happened to him. Yeah, yeah. but at, it sounds like his charges now are a little bit more serious than that. Yeah, they're all misdemeanors. They're uh, terroristic threats for telling multiple people he, he wants to put a bullet in their head. A terrorist threat is just a misdemeanor? I want to put a bullet in your head is what earned the terroristic threat, as I understand yeah. it. And it's all He didn't get a charge for taking the car? No, no charge for taking the car because uh, it was legitimately borrowed to his crazy girlfriend, okay. and she just never gave it back. Jesus. <laughs> and that's how he inherited a daughter. Um, how he's talking about how he has a daughter now? Yeah, he's talking about how he has a daughter, and with all of this crazy psycho stuff, it seems that this poor eight-year-old girl is in tow being subjected to all of it so sad. there was a point when like in and around where the car was taken that uh apparently the eight-year-old girl was left uh, at april's right with, with, I, yeah, with, I saw yeah that. with april yeah and uh i mean i guess the i guess there's a break you know <laughs> that she's not with bam running from the cops you know uh with yeah. all the things going on but I, Poor April. I mean, if, if he goes to jail, at least she can sigh relief where she knows where she he is. Yeah, right. That's like, ugh. Okay, now I know he's not in the I fucking hope, woods. I you know, I hope to God that he doesn't die. I hope to God that the ban the family will press charges, do whatever it takes to get him. Because it's the one thing we haven't seen yet. We haven't tried that yet. I think that jail. I think I'm so scared of being in jail that that's the one thing. But do we, you think with these charges not being that serious? 
he'll actually get a. But some there's jail so time. many charges. I mean, like, so the, it, it, wouldn't there's a judge? Like four or five. But wouldn't a judge look at the last four years and be like, hopefully? Okay, yeah. then let me ask you this: Would would, would somebody like Bam <laughs> go to uh, protective custody, or would they go like in the mix they, with everybody? We get like protective custody for sure the whole yeah. time. Yeah, he yeah. would be absolutely totally safe. There's no way that they would let him be in contact with population. other prisoners, yeah. other other inmates. There's no way and and for that matter, <clears throat> anytime somebody with uh any kind of fame is in jail, there's no upside for the jail. Something bad happens to that person, the jail's screwed. For like sure. uh, like all of a sudden that jail's under a microscope. Like they they mm -hmm. They want to get celebrities kind of out of there because there's no benefit to the jails for having them in there, is, is my understanding. Which doesn't help the case because it would be better if if, uh, if he was in there. Okay. But, you think it would be better if he was in gen pop, general <coughs> No, 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 no. I just think it would be better if he was in jail. Oh, if he was in jail in general. Yeah, yeah for sure. I think that, that, you know, but it's just so scary, man. It's so scary. Like how crazy and, and bad this is. Like now, like I was afraid when I woke up today in Australia. We're so many hours ahead that we wake up and it's already yeah. evening back home. Yeah. And I'm like, what happened today? You know, am I going to turn on mm -hmm. my phone, turn off Do Not Disturb and find out terrible news? Yeah. Do you think that Bam's like so addicted to meth that <clears throat> if, when he does get caught and goes to jail, he's going to keister some meth to get in there? <laughs> <laughs> I have a cheat code that you need in your life. It's called AG1 from Athletic Greens. It is the most comprehensive and convenient, not to mention delicious, nutritional supplement you can get. If you go to athleticgreens.com slash stevo, with your first purchase, you can get five convenient, comprehensive AG1 travel packs plus an entire year's supply of immune-boosting vitamin D. It is a great deal. I encourage you to jump on it. And to do so, again, go to athleticgreens.com slash Steva. Yeah, dude.